This is a 2014 to 2018 Subaru Forester. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Mia Max Automotive for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Toronto, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now in order to check the pressure, we need to know what the correct pressure should be, right? So for that, go ahead and open the driver's side door. Right there you'll find the tire pressure information label. Now right there it states it should be 30 psi in the front, 29 psi in the back. Just know that this is for this tire size, for this trim. So if you've got a different trim level with different tire size, it may be different. So just check for your car. Now, right there, say this should be cold tire pressure. Cold tire pressure means the car has been sitting for at least 3-4 hours before you check the pressure. Because what happens is when you drive, the tire rotates, the air inside heats up and that increases the pressure artificially. And that will be hot tire pressure, not cold, right? Also, keep in mind that if the car has been sitting out in the sun all day long, and just the sun's shining on just say one side, like say if it's only shining on the left side and not the right side, then the tire pressure on the left side tires will be 2-3 psi more than the right side one. You will need a tire pressure gauge to check the tire pressure. Again, they come in all different sizes and shapes, digital, analog, small, big, doesn't matter. It's up to you, your preference. You can find them at your local auto parts store or online. So go ahead, open that black cap, take it off, keep it somewhere safe, get the tire pressure gauge turn it on and line it up exactly straight that's the trick to doing it right line it up straight with the tire wall stem not at an angle not up down straight put it on and then push it in for half a second and then let's get the reading it's lined up push it in let's get the reading it is 32.2 psi again this is for the front tire that i'm doing and this is the tire that was sitting out in the sun facing the sun all day long and that's why the pressure is a little bit more and that's okay but I'll, I'll show you what happens though if you do hold this tire pressure gauge at an angle you end up actually leaking the air out of it you hear the hissing sound that's what it is yep that's what this is now, if you've ended up leaking too much air or you just need to add air in this, you can take it to your local gas station or you can have one of these portable air compressors. You can buy them at your local auto parts store or online. They all work the same. One end goes in the 12-volt outlet. The other end goes on the tire. They have the tire pressure gauge on them too. Again, same price, different size and shape, up to you, whatever you find. So put that one end on the tire. Make sure it's secured in tightly like that. The other end goes in the power outlet. You can use the one that's in the dash. Put the key in, put an accessory, not on, just accessory is enough. Fill up the air, keep an eye on the tire pressure gauge. Once you're done, stop. Take this off, put the black cap back on, and that is pretty much it. Go ahead now and repeat this process for the other three tires, and that's it. Hope you found the video useful.